Hello, my name is Josh Leek, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up a drone pad underneath of a piano inside of Main Stage, uh, just using a MIDI keyboard and musical typing. So here's what it's going to sound like. So again, all you need to do this is uh, a MIDI keyboard and main stage, and then we're going to use musical typing to trigger the drone. Uh, so we're going to come over here and do this step by step. Click on layout, and uh, just to show you how to do this from scratch, I'm going to delete everything I had set up. We're going to come down here, click on shelf controls, and get a new keyboard going here. Now in order to do this, you're going to want to set your MIDI keyboard to channel 2, uh, and every keyboard does this in a different way, so you may have to look up how to do that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and set mine to channel 2 here. Once you've done that, you can click on that keyboard, hit assign, and then play any key on your keyboard, and there we go. It's found it. We're going to want to do the same thing for musical typing, which we'll use to trigger our drones. So, uh, we can come over here, up to Window, click on Musical Typing. I'm going to do the same thing. Come over here to assign, and there we go, we found it. Now we want to make sure this is set to channel 1 and not 1 through 16, so that each keyboard has their own channel. Uh, last thing we're going to want to do is set up a button, which is going to turn our drone on and off. Okay, come back over to edit, and again for the sake of showing you, I'm going to do it from scratch here. So we're going to create a new channel strip, uh, set it to an instrument, and then I'm going to have it be from my MIDI keyboard. And uh, for time's sake, I'm just going to have it be a piano that I already created earlier today. So if this got set up right, there we go. You can hear the piano coming through. Now we want to create another channel strip for the drone, which we'll use keyboard 2, which is the musical typing keyboard. And again, for time's sake, I'm going to do a pad that I already created earlier. There we go. Now if this works, yep, there's the drone. Um, but you'll notice that when you play musical typing and then let go, obviously it doesn't keep sustaining and that's uh, where we want to create the drone. So you're gonna come over here to MIDI effects on the drone channel, come down to Scripter, and uh, this is where you'll have to download the specific code uh, and I've attached a link to it in the description below. I just called it sustain and what this code does is it uh, causes this pad to infinitely sustain until you turn the scripter off. So here's how it works. And now when we hit the off button on the scripter it turns the, uh, the sustain off. So what we want to do is we want to set this button to work as the on off switch for that scripter. So we're going to click on this button, come down here to the pad that we made, go to Scripter, and set it to Bypass. So now when we turn the button on, you'll see that it turns Scripter off, and then when we turn it back off like that, Scripter's back on. So now, the pad is sustaining, and then when we hit the button, it turns off. That's how it's done. Uh, so if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. See you next time.